Hi there, welcome to a new Gateway Flipped Classroom video. Do you remember listening to people talking about extracurricular activities? There's one that I'd really like to try. Quidditch. You know, the sport that Harry Potter plays on his broomstick. Of course, when you do extracurricular Quidditch, you don't actually fly. But, it would be great if it was like in the films. It's still an unusual hobby, and it looks like great fun. And as one of the students said about studying, if you don't find time to relax, you become stressed. I don't think I have much to do later on. I think that if I'm free, I'll have a look on the internet. Maybe there's a Quidditch club near where I live. Those three sentences that we've just seen are all conditional sentences. Let's look at three different types of conditional. The zero conditional describes a situation which has a consequence that is generally or always true. So we said, if you don't find time to relax, you become stressed. For the zero conditional, you can see that we use the present simple in both halves of the sentence. The first conditional describes a possible and probable situation in the present or future and its consequence. So, as I said before, I don't think I have much to do later on. So, if I'm free, I'll have a look on the internet. For the first conditional, we use the present simple in the half of the sentence with if and will or won't plus the infinitive in the other half. The second conditional describes an improbable or imaginary situation in the present or future and its consequence. So imagine if you could play Quidditch on a flying broomstick like Harry Potter. It would be great if it was like in the films. We can also use the second conditional to give advice when we have if I were you in one half of the sentence. So, for example, if I were you, I'd try Quidditch. To make the second conditional, we use the past simple in the half of the sentence with if and would or wouldn't plus the infinitive in the other half. Remember that the half of the sentence with if can come first or second. If it comes second, we don't use a comma. But if it comes first, we do need a comma. You also need to remember that the type of conditional we use always depends on the situation. For example, if it's quite probable that I'm going to be free, I use the first conditional. But if it's improbable, I use the second conditional. Anyway, if I have a look on the internet this afternoon, and if I find a Quidditch club close to my house, I'll be ready to start straight away. Look, I've got everything I need right here. Thanks for watching, see you again soon.